Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my childhood games, Wii Music. If you can see it, past the glare. Essentially, this is a video game published and uh, developed by Nintendo. And essentially, this is a uh, music making tool, in a sense, where you can create your own, well, you can create your own compo uh, compositions, not exactly songs. As the back of the box says, creative fun, a music game that's for everyone. It includes 60 in instruments. You can strum, drum, and play instruments using the motion and motion controls. Now, I'm going to say up front that I'm going to cut to the chase and say that I don't like this game. But not because it's necessarily bad, but because it's not everything it should have been. What do I mean by that? Well, before we can get into that, I should probably give you a history into the Wii series. Now, I mean the Wii series, I don't mean like games on the Wii. I mean Wii games. You probably recognize the uh, game title Wii Sports as pretty much any game. All gamers, whether it be gamers or non-gamers alike, recognize the name Wii Sports. Well, that is a series as there are five, well six, but five North American releases termed Wii. So before I even get into this, I should probably tell you what uh, exactly um, one gets into when they go into a Wii game. The first, there are five Wii series of games. There's a Wii Sports, Wii Play, Wii Fit, Wii Party, and Wii Music. Um, four of those series um, spawned sequels. One did not. Care to guess which one? That's right. Wii Music never got a sequel. The other one's got at least one sequel. So let's go over those real quick. First off, the big one was Wii Sports, which, as many people pretty much know, as up until um, Minecraft beat it, it was the highest selling video game of all time. This was essentially the first Wii game that anyone owned, and it was a collection of five mini games that are centered around sports, which would be tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. Uh, it was very, it became very famous and beloved by many people because unlike traditional video games where you just click a button at the right time, here you mimic the motions of your sport. For instance, if you're, tennis, if you're playing tennis, you mimic a tennis racket. If you're bowling, you mimic throwing a bowling ball. And of course, uh, my personal favorite, golf, you mimic swinging a golf club. This became extremely popular and helped the Wii become the highest selling Nintendo console of all time simply because of its... In intuitiveness and how easy it is to understand. There was absolutely nothing um, nothing mysterious about the Wii. What you saw is what you get, got. And anyone who didn't understand technology or video games completely understood what the Wii was about. And that is pretty much why it sold so well. Was because of that simplicity. With casuals who didn't play that many, that many video games and even hardcore people who just liked you know to have a good time i fall somewhere in between i love wii sports we did however get a sequel to wii sports that improved upon things even better called the wii sports resort this was in a way an expansion of wii sports where we got numerous other video games uh, numerous other mini games uh um in the form of island games like for instance well, not even island games, just, I guess, summer games. There was uh, disc golf, there was cycling, there was uh, archery, and even the uh, star, tra uh, there was basketball, and even the star attraction uh, sword play. You know, we also got back um, bowling and golf, and then we got back tennis to an extended table tennis, which is a much better version, I think. Um, Wii Sports Resort, in my opinion, is much better than Wii Sports because it was... Uh, a big improvement upon it. And then we had a Wii Sports Pro, I think it was called, for the Wii U, that basically was Wii Sports all over again, but um, in uh, online, for online play. You could play the five original Wii Sports titles online for a monthly fee, which is why I never got it. Also, it's a Wii U game, so. 
And then we had the Wii Play lineup, which was similar to Wii Sports, but instead of sport minigames, it was just random minigames in a way. Wii Play was the first one to be released, and it sold like crazy, partly because, not probably anything, mostly probably because um, it came with a controller. So instead of buying a $30 controller, just buy the $40 game. Basically, it's a $30 controller that comes with a $10 game. Seems like a good deal to me. Even if the game is mediocre, it's worth it. And yeah, uh, the game's mediocre, but it's fun if you're playing with other people. It was highlighted by some... Some, you had some, you know, basic games that make sense, such as um, duck hunting or, or billiards, or even fishing. Then he has some really off the wall mini games such as morph your Wii's body into a bubble and running over um, sc scarecrows with a with a while riding a cow. So yeah, the game can be quite out there. Then we got a sequel called We uh, We Play Motion, I think it was called, where um, it used it used the uh, Wii Motion Plus accessory to um, enhance the movement technology, similar to what uh, Wii Sports Resort did. And it also had some unusual games, the most famous of which is we had to balance an ice cream cone while ice cream gets st infinitely stacked upon it. Um, these games, I think, sold well, not only for marketing reasoning, but it, became, it came with, they each came with a controller. I don't think those games sell as well if it just comes with a game alone, as the games really aren't worth that much. They are fun, they're fun with distraction, but not really worth anything. Then we had um, Wii Motion. Oh, sorry, uh, Wii Fit. Um, this was essentially a yoga type game where you would exercise and play mini games while exercising on your Wii Fit pad. It came with this pad that was like a yoga mat type thing. Um, and you played mini games while standing on this, and it's supposed to register your movement and weight distribution. And it sold, also sold extremely well, again, because of the marketing, as it completely uh, marketed towards casuals. Um, and then they had another one called Wii Fit Plus, which I believe utilized the uh, Wii Motion Plus when it used the controller. I forgot what system that came on. Wii Fit came on the Wii. I don't know what Wii Fit came Plus came on. I never played these games. I think Wii Fit Plus came on the Wii U, but I don't remember. Then we had the Wii Party series, which is essentially a more simplified version of Mario Party. You see, Mario Party can be a little confusing if you just pick up and play because it's like a board game, but the 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 um, unlike a lot of bo other board games, the objective is not get to the end of the board. In Mario Party, your objective is to get a certain number of stars. We Party decided to turn out, uh, go back to basics, and you play mini games while trying to get to the end of a certain board. Uh, we Party, the sequel, We Party U, came out on the Wii U. It was essentially the same thing, except it. Uh, was on a bigger scale as their its main mode highway highway rollers instead of rolling up to two dice you can roll up to ten dice and cover a much wider field I think the we the Wii game board is like 80 spots um, 80 uh, 80 uh, spots that you move over spaces that you move over and the Wii U uh, board has over 300 so that's what we're going at. That game was probably made most famous recently by a YouTuber named Pooh Fisher, or Pooh Fisher, or however you pronounce it, who does a lot of Rage videos with Wii Party. I think it's his most famous series. And that's essentially the story of the Wii lineup. There was another one that was only released for Europe called Wii Chess, but I'm not even going to get into that because I don't know the history of that. But that leads us to Wii, Wii Music. So what was wrong with this game? Well, the big problem first is it's advertising. Unlike the other Wii games, um, the advertising for it was a little, I don't want to say misleading, but what we got versus what they told us we would get kind of differs. Here's what I mean. The game advertises that you can create your own music. Well, you can. The issue is a lot of people will interpret making your music as making your own songs. And those are two different things, but a lot of people don't know that. Even I was fooled by it. You can choose by, I think, how many how many songs? I think there's like 50 or so songs, and then change the, change, change the arrangement of the instruments. Now, it is true that any instrument that's available, you can put in the song. If you want to have a song that has a banjo melody, 
um, sitar harmony and harmonica chords. You can do that. It'll sound really weird, but you can do that. Um, so that part is true. What isn't true is that you can't create your own songs and you are very limited on the creativity you are allowed. And I think that really harms the game is lack of creativity. However, if it was like Rock Band where um, you can't really create your own songs per se, but at the very least if you have fun with the songs you love, then it won't be that big of a deal. Unfortunately, you don't really get that either. Before we get into the second reason, specifically why uh, this game doesn't work, just want to ask you guys to please subscribe if you haven't already, uh, like the video, comment down below uh, if you want to see me do videos like this again. I'm uh, about to do another game collection video with my Wii games, but this collection is going to be big, two to three videos worth. The question I have is, do you, if you guys like this type of video where I go into more detailed analysis into the game's history like this, or my thoughts on the game, let me know, and I'll do it for some select games that I have. Some of those entries will be very interesting. I will, I will definitely do a, a game collection video if you guys want, but I want to see how much you like this. Now back to it. The second problem is the, um, the, the song selection, and honestly, of all the things wrong with this game, if it just simply had a better song selection, then everything else would be forgivable. But the song selection is what makes this game a tragic mess. You see, if you know the term public domain, um, Nintendo pretty much marries that term into Wii music. As most of the songs on here are public domain melodies. From Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to Do Re Mi to The Believer to Carmen to... Oh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Some other songs like uh, Turkey and the Straw Song and that to other songs I can't even pronounce. A lot of songs I recognize, but hardly songs I'm excited to play. It does have a few licensed songs that are very fun, such as September from Earth, Wind, Fire, Material Girl from Madonna, uh, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, what else, what else, what else, what else, Daydream Believe or something like that, uh, what else, what else, it's been so long since I've played it. I bet that the, uh, manual, uh, says it, what is licensed. It, yeah, maybe it doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, because it's been so long since I've played it, I do not remember what is all is in here. So, let's see here. Um, I'm not sure where you were finding this. Oh, here we go. Staff credits. Song credits 20. Okay. Yeah, we have Chariots of Fire, uh, Daydream Believer by Jon Stewart. Every Breath You Take, I forgot about that one. That's kind of an odd choice. I'll Be There by the, I think, Jackson 5. I've never been to... I've never been to me. I don't remember that. Material Girl, Please Mr. Postman, September, something Japanese, The Locomotion, and Woman by John Lennon. And as you can tell by that, first of all, that is all licensed songs. If you were hoping for songs old, uh, younger than 100 years old, that's all you got. Uh, actual songs they hear on the radio. And even half of those don't really hear on the radio, like Chariots of Fire. I don't think you heard that on radio at all. So that was the big problem. Of the 50 plus songs you get, you get maybe 10, what was that, 10 songs that are licensed. Now it does have Nintendo songs, which actually is a great choice. I, in fact, I would say that it would be a crime not to include uh, Nintendo songs, but I like 10 of them. So that means you get about 20 songs that are worth playing, and even then, you, you, you ultimately you only play Nintendo songs a couple of times, you want to play your favorite songs. So that leaves you about 10 songs maybe that you like. And even then, a lot of young people, if you're 20 years old, do you even know Please Mr. Postman or The Locomotion? I didn't. I only recognize a handful of songs in that. And then you have 30 songs that are completely and utterly um, uh, public domain. And that's what makes it tragic, because it's like, 
I know Nintendo can't afford it. There's no reason to skip out on songs. People are playing this hoping to play some of their favorite songs, like in Rock Band. This should have been advertised. I know why they didn't, because, again, it's a dumb idea. They didn't advertise it like that, because no one would have bought it. But that should have been clear from the advertising. That this is going to be a this is a cheap game that's going to be sold because of its name. It's been, it's, it was it was released because it was called Wii Music, not for the music because it was called Wii Music. Um, now the advertising for it outside of that was decent, as it advertised that you can play this, mimic the instruments on your Wii controller, and it will you can play the instruments. You don't have to worry about the notes; it will play notes for you. But you can play the instruments, and in that regard, for the most part, it does exactly what it does. It does exactly what it claims to do. If you're playing a piano instrument, you would hold the Wii remote and nunchuck like this and act like a pian playing piano. <coughs> if you were playing a guitar instrument, you'd hold the Wii remote and nunchuck and strum like you were playing guitar. Again, it works. And drums, which is my personal favorite, you hold it like drumsticks and shake in the air. And in that regard, the game works great for the most part. Um, the only problem I have is that sometimes it registers two shakes when I don't mean to, and I've looked online, that is not an isolated incident. This happens to a lot of people. So, but, again, it's it's pre-Wii Motion Plus days, so that's not too unusual. Even Wii Sports has that problem. I remember playing tennis, if I swing, it, they would often swing twice and really throw everything off. But, again, as is, it's, um, it's... In that regard, it's exactly what's advertised. But the issue is that the third issue ultimately is that it acts more like an app and not a game. You see, for a game, there has to be some kind of goal. Like in Mario games, your goal is to rescue Princess Peach. In oh, what else? What else? What else? In Castlevania games, your your goal ultimately is to kill Dracula or whatever. In Minecraft. It didn't have a goal in immediately, but over time, your goal was to kill the Ender Dragon. And except, basically, any and every game has some kind of goal. Um, and that's really another big problem I had with Wii Music, is that there was really no goal. It was not really a game, as there was no real way to win or lose it. All you, all you can do is just play around with it. It was basically a $40 app. So... Um, let me ex try to explain this a little better. When you create your ma your um uh con con um comp composition uh in Wii Music, a song, or whatever, you know, you play all the songs and then you would play them all at once, and then once you were done, it would record it for you. You know what you're getting yourself into when there's a score meter for each song that you do, but you get to set the score. That's right. After you're done completing a song, it asks you what you think uh, your song was. And there's nothing preventing you from, from rating each and every song a 100. And that kind of shows you what the mindset is of this game. It advertises complete creativity without ever giving you that such creativity. Um, I don't mind those goals. Like, for instance, there are some mini games in the game that you can lose and that you can't win. And that's fine. Um, I don't mind if this Wii music that's creative also had goals in it. Um, but it, it, the problem is that it can't, it feels like it can't decide what it wants to do. On one hand, it wants to be an app, that's why it gives you the option to rate it. But on the other hand, it doesn't want to be an app, that's why it doesn't give you nearly creative choices it should. Um, and a lot of times when you just want to play the song, it makes it more difficult than it has to be. For instance, um, when you are playing the song, there is a bar above you that shows you when to play the notes for the particular song. And that's fine. It, it leaves it off, however, defa by default. And that's an issue because you're going to want to play the song normally. Now, of course, you may want to mix up a little bit, maybe play notes that aren't there, but ultimately, you're going to want to play the song. So that part should be on um, constantly. In fact, I would argue that if you just want to, like I used to want to, because I'm not exactly the, I, I kind of, I liked the motion control, but I kind of got annoyed by them. I wanted to have a mode where 
these notes would play themselves, and I just had to rearrange instruments. That would have been awesome, but it doesn't let you do that. Like I said, it wants to be very creative, but in other ways, it just stifles creativity. Now, if there should have been a goal for Wii Music, it should have been something like Rock Band, where you're going from tour to tour trying to accumulate money to be the best band you can be. And that would work if the songs were fun to play. Like I said, we go back to what I was talking about earlier. The songs in this game just aren't good. Why do I want to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for a hundredth time? What's the per point? What's the purpose? I don't care. And that's the ultimate crux of this, that the song selection sucks. There's no reason for it. This wasn't made by like Ubisoft or anything. And I'm talking about like Ubisoft in the early days, not like Ubisoft now. But this is Nintendo, arguably the um, uh, most, the richest um, video game company in the world. So they could have at least pinned up a little bit, not for necessarily co uh, modern songs, but you know, give us like "Living on a Prayer" or um, I'm trying to think, what else would be great on this? Uh, maybe "My Heart Will Go On." I don't know. I'm just spitballing, like, anything's better than what we're getting here. And like I said, the last of the songs here, the only one I really liked playing multiple times was September. But that's because, um, on vacation, me and my family used to, um, listen to Earth, Wind, Fire all the time. So, everything else I just don't care about. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I just don't care about. And that's ultimately what this problem, the problem is with this game. I've sold a little bit of my collection, but this game is hard to sell, because no one wants it anymore. It's... It's not what it's advertised to be, and that's the problem, is you get it expecting something that it says it is, and it simply isn't. The creativity is very little, you can rearrange the instruments, but that's it. Uh, incentive to play? Not really. Um, there's no goal, so there's no way to lose, and there's no real reason to come back to it, because while the instruments are fun to play, it gets tiring after a while, it's not like playing a sport. And the song selection just sucks. In fact, that, like I said, that is the biggest issue with this. That is so tragic. If, literally, if the song selection was better, if not even better, even if it was halfway done, I wouldn't like it, but if, if all 50 songs were licensed songs, okay, 40 licensed songs and 10 Nintendo songs, then I would consider this game much better than it is. It's really that song selection. Because if I could play like Living on a Prayer or, um, you get the idea. Uh, what else, what else, what else? What, what, what would make songs like, um, what would make songs in the 90s? I don't know. But, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, that would have been cool. You know, if we could play songs like that on Wii, on Wii Music, then all the other flaws would not only be forgiven, but I might even I might not even notice it because I'm having too much fun uh, jamming out to Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't know, but that's something so tragic. I played this game for a little bit when I was younger, but I stopped quickly because like I don't care about these songs. The grinding to get to them is not worth the payoff. And yes, you have to grind this game. That is amazing. Basically, what happens is every style of music from the classic from the uh, obvious rock, pop, and classical, to the really obscure electronic and Japanese. You have to go through each individual lesson to um, unlock everything in this game. And what do these lessons entail? Well, the teachers teach you how to play six of the instruments in that certain genre, and then you complete a song with it. Do you get your song? Nope. Every single time it's Twinkle Twinkle the Little Star. And you have to ultimately, if you combine all the parts, you probably play a song over a hundred times to unlock everything in this game. That is, like, I don't know what they were thinking, but the game here does not work very well. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking about what could you have done with this Wi Fi, nothing. I, that was no Wi Fi. I don't, I don't know what that's for. And that's ultimately the tragedy of this game. It's so close to being such a really fun app that anyone of any age can enjoy. And even then, it still would falter on what it's advertised to be. What should they have done? They should have given you some kind of um, ability to create your own songs. Not just creating arrangements of certain songs, but literally create your own song note for note. Now, would people have used that? Not necessarily. I, maybe you've gotten some people who are more hardcore who have used it to create actual songs for YouTube or whatever. It's possible. But there should have been an option because 
<clears throat> as is, it's it was really poorly advertised. When I saw it, I now granted, how old was I? I got I got, I got like a year after it came out. So when did it come out? When did it come out? Two thousand eight. Okay. Well, what the hell was I? Well, I don't want to give my exact age, but I was between twelve and fifteen. So this wasn't like you. They were advertising to a um. This, they were not advertising to a um child here. They were advertising to a teen who who understood things. And seeing advertisements, I was thinking this was going to be a game where you can create your own songs and play some of the favorite songs. Now, the only game, the only thing they, they I, I ever saw was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But I was thinking, oh yeah, that was a demonstration. That was a, um, that was just like a tutorial type of thing. But no, it was like that public domain and it, it just sucks. And I got this game pretty excited. I got it for like $40, I think. Um... And I played it. I grind through it because I was thinking, well, maybe this didn't get better. Because I unlock September, I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Now we're getting, now we're getting to some license. Now we're getting to some songs, some songs I recognize. And it was kind of fun every once in a while to go through the uh, Nintendo songs. But ultimately, that's why this game is so sour to me right now because it 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 was advertised poorly, and I fell for it. So do I recommend this game? No, I don't. There's no reason to come to this game. Any musical tool that allows you to create music is going to be more detailed than this. The only thing about this that I, that I can say is good is the fact that there are a lot of instruments and they actually sound decent. They don't sound great, especially for such an old game, but they sound decent enough. And it, I will admit, if you're like five years old, it's probably fun to um, play the instruments, you know, pretend to play the instruments. I just got here. I don't. I don't know how to trace. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see some kind of tracing. I know apparently that's an ASMR thing. I didn't know that. Well, I just want to thank you all for listening. I just want to thank you all for listening to me complain about this game that probably isn't worth a grown man's time. But I just want to thank you very much for uh, listening to me. Uh, have a wonderful day, um, and God bless.